Hi, welcome to Feel Korean TV Math Corner. In this video, I will show to you how to solve routine and non-routine problems involving addition and subtraction of fractions. Before we go to solving problems, we must know first the difference between routine problem solving and non-routine problem solving. When we say routine problem solving involves at least one of the four arithmetic operations and or ratio to solve the problems that are practical in nature. It is a type of problem with an immediate solution. Routine problem is very easy to solve because the operation that we need to use is very obvious in the problem. So by looking at the problem, we can easily tell what operation we are going to use to solve the problem. We can easily write the number sentence or equation for the problem. While non-routine problem solving is any complex problem that requires some degree of creativity and originality to solve the problem, it can be solved in multiple ways. In this type of problem, we need to think of our own strategy or technique that we can use to solve the problem because the problem can be solved in different ways. Some strategies in solving non-routine problems are draw a picture or diagram, make an organized list, make a table, find a pattern, guess and check or the trial and error, act out a problem, work backward, write an equation, Use a manipulatives, break it into parts. You can use any of these strategies in solving non-routine problems. Or you can use the combination of these strategies. In solving word problem, it is important that you can determine the word clue in the problem so that you will know what operation you will use to solve the problem. And here are some clue words for addition. In all, sum, total, plus, add, combined, both, all together or all together, together, increased by. For subtraction, here are some clue words. Fewer, left, difference, remain, take away, minus, subtract. Reduced by, decreased by, dropped, less than, farther, how many more, or how much more. You need to remember these words so that when you see these words in the word problem, then you can tell what operation you are going to use to solve the problem. Okay, so let's have a problem now for us to solve. A man walks four-fifths of an hour to reach his workplace. He had walked seven-tenths of an hour. How much more does it take the man to reach his workplace? This problem is an example of a routine problem. You can easily solve this problem. In solving word problems, you need to follow the steps. These are the steps in solving word problems. One. Understand or analyze the problem. Two, plan. Number three, solve. And number four, check your answer. Now, let's solve this problem using these steps. Okay, to analyze the problem, you need to know what is asked in the problem. To know what is asked in the problem, you need to focus on the question in the problem. It is the sentence with the question mark. So, what is being asked in this question? The answer is, an hour a man needs to walk more to reach his workplace. Next, that you must know is the given facts. The given facts or the data you need to solve the problem. So, you focus on the numbers in the problem. In this problem, the given data are 4 fifths of an hour and seven-tenths of an hour. 
after analyzing the problem, you need to plan of what you are going to do to solve the problem. So to plan, you need to know the operation to be used. For you to determine the operation you will use to solve the problem, you need to look for the clue word in the problem. You can find the clue word on the questions in the problem. The clue word is how much more. So this clue word is for subtraction. So you need to use subtraction to solve the problem. Now that you know the operation you will use to solve the problem, you make your plan to solve the problem. So this time, you need to write a number sentence. The number sentence is your guide in solving the problem. Okay, so let's write the number sentence or the equation for this problem. Four fifths are minus seven tenths are equals n. Next step is to solve. We will carry out our plan by solving. Okay, let's solve now. Four fifths minus seven tenths equals. These are the similar fractions, so we need to change the fractions to similar fractions first. Okay. So we need to get the LCD of 5 and 10. The LCD is 10. So next is to divide. 10 divided by 5 equals 2 times 4 equals 8. And then do the same in the softer hand. 10 divided by 10 equals 1 times 7 equals 7. Okay, so the fractions now are already similar fractions then subtract the numerators 8 minus 7 equals 1 copy the lcd 10 the answer is 1 tenth okay so let's write now the answer for the problem last step that you are going to do is to write the answer and check whether your answer makes sense Okay, the answer for this problem is a man needs to walk one-tenth of an hour more to reach his workplace. Always remember these steps in solving word problems. Now, let's solve a non-routine problem. Here is an example. A farmer harvested vegetables in his farm. He left one-fourth of it at home for his family's consumption and sold the rest in the market. If the vegetables he sold weighed seven and one-half kilograms, how many kilograms of vegetables did he harvest? In solving this problem, you can use the technique that you want to use and you think easy for you to get the answer. Okay, let's solve now the problem. First, we need to analyze the problem. Okay, so what is asked in the problem? Okay, so we need to focus on the question in the problem. The sentence with a question mark. It asks the weight or kilograms of vegetables that the farmer harvested. Next, what are the given facts? The given facts are one-fourth of the vegetables and seven and one half kilograms vegetables next let us identify the operation that we can use to solve the problem we can use here addition the next step that we need to do is to think of the strategy or technique that we can use to solve the problem because we will not just add the given facts if we do that then the answer is wrong so we need a technique. We need to figure out, you need to think hard of what we are going to do. This makes non-routine problem different from a routine problem. We need to think of the strategy to solve the problem. Okay, I will use fraction model and the trial and error methods in solving this problem. Let's solve now. Okay, let's draw a fraction model. 
This one is a whole. It represents the total weight of vegetables. Next, let's divide the whole into four equal parts. Then shade one part to show one fourth of the vegetables. The three unshaded parts is the seven and one half kilograms of vegetables that the farmer sold. Okay, so let's make a fraction model that represents three fourths. So this is three fourths, the seven and one half kilograms of vegetables. The next step is that we need to find out how many kilograms. Is that the one-fourth of the vegetables so that we can add that to the seven and one-half kilograms to get the total weight of the vegetables this time I will use trial and error or guess and check we will add three numbers that will give us the total of seven and one-half so if we add two and one-half plus two and one half, plus two and one half, the answer is seven and one half. That means that one fourth of the vegetables weighed two and one half. Okay, so we can add now to get the total weight of the vegetables. So if we add two and one half plus seven and one half, the answer is 9 and 2 halves or 2 over 2. Okay, so we need to simplify the answer. So divide, 2 divided by 2, the answer is 1. So it is whole number, so add it to the whole number 9. The answer is 10. So let's write our answer and label it. So if we add 2 and 1 half kilograms plus 7 and 1 half kilograms, the answer is 10 kilograms. So we can write now our final answer. The answer is the farmer harvested 10 kilograms of vegetables. So this is how to solve non-routine problems. But in this problem, you can use other methods to get the same answer. That's all for this video. I hope you learn from it. See you next time. God bless. Oh,